It is two years since the Interagency Standing Committee adopted a policy on protection. The policy commits all humanitarians to make efforts to reduce the protection risks of people affected by a crisis. Next week in Amman, I will join with partner agencies to take stock of the implementation of the policy. Clearly, some challenges need to be addressed, but I want to highlight some good practices from the field in ensuring that protection is central to humanitarian action, a key aim of the policy. The GPC collects these good practices and we publish them on our website at globalprotectioncluster.org. First of all, great leadership is vital and humanitarian coordinators play a critical role in, in prioritization of protection within the humanitarian response and in advocacy with high level political and military counterparts in protection of civilians, for example. We see this leadership in Yemen, Iraq, Syria and other operations. It is hard to think of a crisis at the moment which isn't about protection. It's imperative, therefore, that humanitarian country teams have protection as a standing item on their agenda and that they have a protection strategy clearly outlining a system-wide effort to reduce the risks of affected people. Of about 26 humanitarian country teams, only 18 have a protection strategy and I encourage all operations to make use of our resources to develop a strategy of their own. Second, the Humanitarian Response Plan, or HRP, must have a clear statement that protection is central to humanitarian efforts. In the Response Plan for Syria, we can see that protection provides a framework with clear objectives that each sector is required to respond to. It also requires all sectors to integrate protection priorities within their plans. Including protection as a strategic objective also provides direction for the use of common humanitarian funds. Some sectors, like health, include protection cluster partners in validating projects for inclusion in the HRP and common fund applications. Third, a common thread in operations where protection response is working is the integration of concerns in other sectors and referrals. A good example of this is from Iraq, where the food security cluster is picking up protection issues at food distribution points, which is a first-line response, and referring them to the protection cluster. A call centre, which receives calls from the public and provides information to them, is also picking up on trends in issues, including protection, as well as following through on referrals. Finally, if we all agree that protection is central to humanitarian response, why is so little money given to protection response? In Nigeria, for example, the protection sector has received only 14% of the funding it requires. Globally, the protection sector has received just over 20% of its funding requirements by October 2018. The GPC collects interesting practices from all the highly complex situations we support, and I encourage other operations to study these practices to see what lessons can be learned. Thank you for listening.